Let's now discuss installing and configuring the course dataset for use with this class, Learning Open Buildings Designer. To create the training dataset, first download the zip file and place it on your desktop. If you open the zip file, you will see a PDF, which is the handout for this course, a step by step of what is discussed in the videos. Place the PDF wherever it's convenient for you to locate your desktop, for instance. The remaining folder, Open Buildings Training, contains the workspace for this course. All the exercises contained within this class have been built to be used with the Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition and are designed to use a custom workspace, Open Buildings Training. The Learning Open Buildings Designer courseware relies upon this specific training workspace it provides a location for drawings, CAD standards, files, and other configuration items that are specific and sometimes unique to the various Bentley training offerings. In addition, the workspace contains work sets, which are actual folders and files needed for the station building in this course. When Open Buildings Connect Edition is started and the Open Buildings Training workspace is selected, the datasets or work sets will automatically appear in the work set list. Each dataset or workset resides in its own workset folder. You will unzip this collection of files and folders and then link them to the software. Use Extract All to unzip the Open Buildings Training dataset to the root of the C drive or another drive of your choice. Go ahead and extract the contents of the zip, which will let the zip file take care of creating the Open Buildings Training folder. The Open Buildings Training Workspace is now unzipped. Using Explorer, review the dataset files by navigating to the Worksets folder. Note that there are two worksets, one in US units and one in metric units. Once you start the course, you may choose the workset that has the units you prefer to work in. In addition to the Worksets folder, each workset contains two additional files. These files are crucial to the operation of the Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition and must be retained. A Workset Configuration, or CFG file, that contains any required configuration information specific to the individual workset. And a DGN Workset file, or DGNWS, is used to store information such as custom workset properties and the sheet index. Even though the Open Buildings Training folder is created, we need to tell Open Buildings Designer where it can find the Open Buildings Training folder. So let's start Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. From the work page, select the Workspace pull-down and select Create Workspace. You need to give the workspace a name and it must match the folder you unzipped earlier. So we'll type in Open Buildings Training. You can also add a description. And then you need to select the root folder where the workspace exists. In this case, the C drive or whichever drive you used when you unzipped the zip file. Note it adds the folder name based on the name of the workspace, which is why those two must match. The rest of the folders will be automatically filled in, and we'll simply select OK. In order to see the worksets that exist in that workspace, we need to close Open Buildings Designer and restart. Now you will see on the works page that I can select the Open Buildings Training workspace from the pull down. And when I do so, I can see the two work sets that were installed and I can choose between the metric or the US units. So now you have successfully downloaded and installed the training dataset. You have created the Open Buildings Training workspace 
and you are now ready to create your own workset using one of the existing worksets as a template. As you work through the Learning Open Buildings Designer course, you will note it is made up of six modules of chapters, and each chapter contains a series of videos. Each video corresponds to an exercise. If you complete each exercise, you can continue to work in the same file, building the model as you go. However, as you start each new chapter, you will have the option to start the exercises for that model with a new Open Buildings DGN file, the native Bentley file format. Those files are stored in the X Milestones folder and are numbered based on the chapter number. Each exercise can be followed along in the step by step course guide, which you downloaded from the zip file. Now, let's get started. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.